A lot of you guys have asked me how you set up College Hoops 2K23. Well, today we will go over how to do that. Now, you do need to have a PS5 or a Xbox Series S or Series X and have to have 2K, obviously. So, if you go to the 2K scenarios, you go to share to download other people's content, what you need to do is go search by content name and type in NCAA 2K23. This will bring up a list of scenarios where people have already set this up for you. Now, one thing I want to highlight here is that you should look at the description. Like obviously if there's like something there, updated college, NCAA, if it's a bunch of gibberish, you can download that one, but it might not be what you're looking for. It might just be like a test that somebody was uploading. But if you look at this one, for example, college roster NCAA 2K23, Go ahead and try that one download. You might have to try a couple times with these uh, with these settings here. Try each one. See which setup you like. There are different setups. Some people have it so it's the My GM setup. Some people have it so it's the My NBA uh, where you are the owner pretty much. And that's how this first one is set up. The only thing I don't like about this is that you do control every team. Obviously, I'm cycling through the teams right now, but this one has 82 games. I highly, highly suggest that you find one that already has the 30 game setup because that simulates closer to an NCAA college season and you're in. I mean, once you download that that file, that scenario, you can go here and look at all the players. They're all in here. Every every single one of these saves at least 80 to 90 percent of those when you type in ncaa 2k 23 has the up-to-date rosters each one kind of has uh different overalls and if you notice you'll see that some of them are higher some of them are lower overalls and that's kind of to simulate you know college basketball scoring and stats it's kind of actually pretty cool you're not going to have you know you're going to have the occasional 40 point games from guys, but it's not going to be like, you know, every game is like somebody's averaging 35, 36, like they're in the NBA. It's going to be, you know, you're in the twenties. That's kind of what, you know, college basketball is. But just looking at this, like I said, I highly suggest, you know, this, this is just the first one that comes up here. This is on Xbox uh, Series X. Same goes for PS5. Try to find a save that has the 30 game schedule. Then you'll be ready to go. So let's just go over some, you know, regular setups that I like to do with this. Obviously, you have the college scouting, which in NBA 2K, it's college. But in this world, you have to consider it high school. I still recommend going the draft route. It's obviously not recruiting, but you still do recruit in a way because in the offseason, you have, you know, private workouts. You have uh, the combine. It's a way to scout guys. But one thing you can do is obviously people have draft classes already created. One thing you can do is maybe search by high school. You can see they have a bunch of NBA draft classes here. You can search by high school, see what comes up. And maybe you could just go on Operation Sports or go on any other forum that you use. Maybe Reddit has some and see if somebody created some, you know, high school uh, draft classes, which could get you started here. But what I recommend if you do decide to go the fictional route, so just go with default, uh, you know, 2K NBA. If you if you have a higher overall NCAA I would bump the uh, quality of the draft class up to 75 so that you do have some mid 80s guys and you have some really good uh, freshmen coming in. And then other settings we want to go over trades, make sure they're off. Obviously, in NCAA, you can't trade. There is the transfer portal, but I think it just gets a little dicey if you do end up turning that on. And uh, in probably the off season, I would recommend turning on the trade override. And um, I, don't, I forgot the setting. It's like the trade review so that you have to review all trades. So this would be under settings here. And then contracts, obviously turn those off. We will go over how to kind of manage uh, players by class. And just so that you can kind of keep your series fresh, obviously freshman through senior. But here it is. I mean, here are the teams right here. They're all in there. And obviously, if you really, really wanted to, if you had like a fictional roster or let's just say, you know, simmed uh, in the future or had your rosters right here, what you could do is obviously relocate your team and get new jerseys. Maybe you want to replace, you know, I don't know, Kansas with 
uh, Western Michigan or something crazy like that. You can create your own world, create your own Mac conference, create your own SoCon conference, create your own uh, Big West, whatever you want to create. Um, you can do that here in this game. And one of the cool things that, you know, I love about 2K is their ability to share everything. You can literally share everything. So uh, and I will kind of go over that in a little bit. But as far as like quarter length goes, obviously there are two 20 minute halves in college. I would recommend, you know, sticking with kind of like an eight minute quarter length. I get realistic results with, you know, getting eight minutes. You're not scoring like a ton of points, but you can score anywhere from like there can be low scoring games from like 50 um, and you can go up to like 80. I mean, you're getting some like pretty big variants i like to play on superstar superstar gives me you know pretty good competition and it's default one thing about these you know uh ratings that you know come out of the box with these scenarios you're not like i said going up against 98 overall guys 97 overall guys, overall guys you're not gonna find that in these rosters you're gonna find you know the elite college basketball players are like low 90 like i mean like 90 and 91 that's pretty much it but that kind of helps you with scoring and everything. It kind of helps manage the averages. And then the normalized minutes, I would probably go with 10 or 11 or 12. I wouldn't go any lower than that or turn it off. I would kind of stick with that. I would kind of go with, I use 10 just so that, you know, I'm not overdoing it, but I like 10. Uh, go ahead and use that. You know, I think it's a good setting right there. Now, one thing you have to do is kind of manage, you know, freshmen seniors when they graduate all that pretty easy since you're already uh controlling every single team anytime somebody hits age 24 so you can ignore the first year because obviously these are the base rosters and there's obviously older seniors i would go ahead after every season go through each team and if somebody hits age 24 cut them that means they graduated and then also for first team NBA players and second team NBA, NBA players and even third team NBA players, consider them declaring for the draft. So cut them as well. They just declared for the draft so that you get a new pool of guys that could be potential All-Americans. And if you want, you can choose one random player from each of those teams, either the first team NBA, second team NBA, or third team NBA, and pretty much say, hey, they decided to stay in college. So then you would have three of the 15 spots staying for their respective teams, and basically the rest kind of declared for the draft. It's a good way to cycle through teams and cycle through rosters. It doesn't take that long to do it. You're just literally going to each team and cutting those players. So that's a good setup that I use. Obviously, use what you want, but just giving you recommendations there. And then obviously, if you want to expand your NCAA, you can go ahead and do that. Search by whatever college you want to add. And then there are plenty, plenty of customizations here in NBA 2K. The community does an excellent job here of just making everything custom, getting the jerseys, getting the courts, everything up to date. I mean, look at this. This, this looks exactly like uh, Wisconsin's home court. And then just add those in. It's, it's pretty incredible. You have six slots to do it. So that is going to be it for this tutorial. Let me know if you guys have questions. Obviously, there are certain ways to do recruiting. Like I had recruiting rules in my Penn State series. Go check that out. I'll leave a link here at the end of this video to go check it out. I'm right at the end of season one, getting into season two. So it's a good time to jump in if you're new. But hit subscribe, hit that like button. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go. I like getting money. I got time to get it. Target on me, so my car's a tenny. Dancing with the devil, I don't bargain with it. Bobbing in a dash, and the stick is with it. And I hit the four or five on the wet side. But I'm from the east side. This how we slide. This how we ride. Yeah, yeah. This how we ride.